Hey guys, what's going on? It's me again, and um, I'm playing a little bit of Team Deathmatch today on Afghan, and I use the SCAR, so ignore the RPD here at the start. I use the SCAR because, well, I was, wasn't planning on uploading this video at the start, but uh, towards the end I, it actually it actually became a video that could uh, kind of be used to help you guys out in games, if you're losing or anything like that. So, um, Basically, what you want to have is, uh, when you go into a game, you want to have, uh, as I call them, the experimental kits. So basically, I have guns which I would like to use, try and get good with, try and get, uh, try and do well with, try and find ways to work with the gun, kind of thing, and uh, get kills with it. And then I have my go-to kit. So I have about three go-to kits. One's the FAMAS, one's the M16, and one's the SCAR. SCAR, it's basically, well, basically, um, those kits are the ones that you would most feel comfortable using to win a game. That's essentially what go-to kits are. And uh, it's always good to have a go-to kit because um, you don't want to be uh, losing a game so badly and you know you you know yourself you can't pull it back because of the guns you have on your kits. So I mean if, if your go-to kits uh, if your go-to kit is a uh, is one of the cu or not the custom the defaults fair enough then you can uh, experiment with all 10 10 kits if you're 9th prestige. I'm 8th, but uh, I only have 9, so hopefully this will work out for me in the end. But the best place on this map that I find to hold down and win a team deathmatch is probably the most high traffic area on the map. R for reasons being, I don't know. I mean, it really depends on the team. But uh, the highest traffic area is exactly where I just got nuked from the bunker here. And it's a two way bunker, and that's what your mother said. But, um,. That's besides the point. Your mother's probably a nice woman. I don't know her, so well, you don't know that I don't know her. Yeah, that failed. I don't even know why the fuck I said that. I should have just stopped. But hopefully you laughed. So and hopefully you'll laugh at me. So whatever. But um, at this point here, I start shitting the sky trying to take out uh, UAV. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I like to shoot down air support. This is, uh, I don't think I'm using, I have an on air kit, uh, for the sole purpose of taking out air, as uh, because, mainly because, um, I heard a lot of stuff about stinger missiles uh, being on everyone's kit, so I decided, screw it, I'll have an RPD with, uh, stinger missile. RPD because, um, without stomp power, this gun does enough damage to hold its own against two or three people with M16s and stomp power, depending on how accurate you are with the gun, obviously. Look at that. Exactly right there. That guy just sprayed and he got so many kills. Well, he killed me. Fucking fair enough. Without having to bother with any of them. Look at this. I can't hit anybody with this fucking gun. I used to be class with this gun, but I just can't use it now. Look at this. Look at this. He should have been dead. Son of a bitch, but whatever. Um, something I've experienced uh, in one of my domination gameplays. I was playing domination, trying to get the Akimbo 93 Rafikas because I want to get a tank nuke for you guys using those guns. Um, something I experienced is uh, I might start like a kind of like a partition to fix spawns in this game because the sp uh, the spawn system is all fucked up. I killed a guy. He spawned and killed me. The same guy I just killed spawned and killed me. Now don't say tank inserts. It wasn't tag inserts, it was 100% on that. Because at the start of the game I killed a guy. He spawned behind me. I mean literally behind me. And I died. All he done was turn a corner after he spawned and shot me in the back. That was it. And I got killed 18 times like that. I watched the kill cam each time because I was getting pissed. I was breaking. I was breaking bones. <laughs> no, I wasn't actually, but I was just, I was at the point. I was at the point of slitting my wrists. But um, you know, that's just that's just what Modern Warfare 2 does to me. If I if I rush too much in Modern Warfare, that's what happens. And there's Renegade showing you what you should be doing with Riot Shield. You shouldn't be trying to command anybody. You should be distracting them so as the teammate can kill them. That's why you get the um, distraction bonus. That is the sole reason that a riot shield should be used for. shouldn't be used for any of this crap that you see people use it for nowadays. People put on danger clothes, use claymores and all that shit. But, um, personally, I just, I never use it. I try and avoid using it. So right now, I actually just only noticed here and now that I'm using the scar. So I'm holding down. I've got my claymores. I'm good. I'm good. I'm set out for the whole game now. 
and uh, as you can see here the score at the moment is actually it keeps on going up 3500 to 46 3600 to 4600 3600 to 4700 sorry and uh, it's going up okay and uh, I'm just working my way towards my kill streaks so what you want to do is if you get your pred you want to be very careful about calling it in because you don't want to get too stingy and try to go for two kills but miss both if you don't think you can get two kills, don't go for two kills. Go for one kill, and that's one kill closer to your higher, or your pave low, or your AC, or whatever you've got on. But, um, basically, you just keep dropping your claymores down, they're going to save your life. I mean, claymores, uh, what's, what's the word? It pays for itself, basically. Um, kind of like uh, Modern Warfare 2, it pays for itself. Of all the enjoyment I have of this playing this game, it really does pay for itself. Sarcasm, but uh, you know I'm not I'm not too serious at this time in the morning. I'm pretty fucking serious actually. Sorry, at this time in the morning, it's nearly three o'clock now. I'm tired. I just want to get into bed, and I'm thirsty. I'm really thirsty. Now an example here, I could have got two, but I just wanted to get one, just to be safe, just to be safe. And uh, here's this guy here. He gives me my harriers. Boom, drop them in. Now, what I do when I'm dropping in my hires is I try to think of the map and where we're positioned on it and drop it in on the place where I believe them to be. Now, generally, I might not get too many kills like that, but, uh, you know, it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The hires will hopefully pave the way for you up to your AC-130 or your chopper gun or whatever you got on. And uh, basically, you see there, I get out of the bunker because I know they know I'm there now and they know I'm on a kill streak. So I'm out of the bunker and I'm I'm running and I just go up behind the rocks here and call on the AC. And uh hopefully you're seeing now I think this is a double kill here. Yep. And uh as you can see I'm I'm getting a lot better in the AC one thirty, like I mean I'm not on Wings of Redemption level but I'm getting there and it's good. I prefer it much to the chopper gunner solely because it doesn't have the fucked up flight method that the chopper gunner has. The chopper gunner has a strange ass flight method where it it goes up, it goes down, it goes left, it goes right, through buildings, through walls, through doors, and through other things as well that I care not to mention. And the good thing about the AC is it can hit inside that bunker, as you just saw there. Double kill. They thought they were safe, but they ain't safe from me, bitch. Okay? I'm gonna get you no matter where you hide. <laughs> but, um, and I think we're just about to win the game. Yep, I run into this bunker and get the game on and kill. I just turn around and spray. So basically, this was the video to show you guys that even if you are losing, you can still pull it back with some smart play and the right gun. I mean, no game's lost until it says at the end you've lost. Although at 7,400, I'd say there's not much point unless your whole team is uh, talking. I don't think you've got much of a chance if your whole team's not talking. Communication is key, and... Um, for anybody who's rushing, I would tell them not to rush. I've stopped doing it myself, and I I try to um, keep my kitty positive as best I can. Um, it stops me getting annoyed. That's the sole reason why I do it. I don't get annoyed as much if I have a nice sweet kitty, so that's why I do it. So I'm not contradicting myself about kitty. I still do uh, not really care about kill-death ratio on the leaderboards, but I care about my kill-death ratio to get enjoyment out of this game, get as much enjoyment out of the game as possible. So the more you rush, the more you're going to get annoyed, and I think it's basically proven by scientists that's the truth. Unless you can find, unless you're new to this game, like new to the Call of Duty series. I mean, I started in on COD 4, and I know the video's over, but I just I'm going to finish off in a few seconds here. Um, I started off in COD 4, and you know I came on a Modern Warfare 2. Most people bought Modern Warfare 2, and they're rushers, and that's them. But, you know, I would try to tell you guys to avoid rushing and camp back because, you know, you're going to get much more enjoyment out of this game. Even if you aren't running in, you're going to get much more enjoyment because of the kills you're getting and the kills you're getting. And you're going to get the game on a kill and all that set. shit. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's Viper and I hope you enjoyed that gameplay. Please let me know your thoughts on this game and uh, any kits you think I should use and upload. Uh, it's Viper and I'll talk to you guys again in my next commentary.